Hello and welcome to the next video in our mini mini series on game movement or player movement in our how to game maker series and our previous video was about how to add jumping to your left and right movement and this video sort of follows on for those who want to add in ladders in their platformer um, so it's got the jump code in so you can jump a bit like this like that and whack your head against the top there because the jump's too big um, uh, but you can also do this you can also climb ladders and note that gravity does not affect you when you're on a ladder as it wouldn't do when you're on a real life ladder then you can jump off at the top Keep going and jump down jump off a ladder you can't jump when you're on a ladder maybe we should be able to jump when we're on a ladder but we can't at the moment and you can do all that kind of stuff and notice how simple it was for me to build a little level here just by using that that one floor block wall block and a bunch of ladders so in order to do this let's get cracking so you will need a where have my windows gone you will need another object and that will be a ladder sprite so that is effectively a block 32 by 32 block with which looks a bit like this so this i actually drew this i hope you're impressed with my artistic skill so that's my ladder piece and then create an associated object for it as well here's the object and it's got no code events, nothing. It's just got the sprite associated with it. And then you can use that to paint ladders in like this. Ooh. Like this. But please note that in our implementation, we cannot have um, wall blocks underneath the ladder. So you actually have to delete the wall block which which is not exactly how I wanted to do it but that seems to be the easiest way of doing it for the moment so that's how we're doing it um, in real life you'd obviously have a, a wall block there so it'd be better to do it that way I think but this works pretty well okay so once you've done that then you need to have the uh, code for the player which has left and right movement and the jump code in so that kind of looks like this but I've got all the ladder code in as well so what I'm going to do in this video is just walk through the extra bit of the extra bits of code I'm not going to write them in we've got it got them all in here so this is the jump code plus ladder code all right so what do we have to do first we have to add one variable in our create event and that is is on ladder and that is true or false true or false is a boolean data type boolean data types can be true or false and that's it so we start off with false because when we start we're not going to be on the ladder so this variable will just tell us whether we're on the ladder or whether we're not on the ladder. Okay, so you add that in. And then let's walk through the code. So you'll notice that we've added um, vertical movement checks as well because we're going up and down here as well as left and right. So as well as move horizontal keyboard checking, you've got to have move vertical keyboard checking as well. Now the only difference here is that you're checking for the up and down key as opposed to the left and right key and obviously your variable is called something else like 
I've called my move vertical, but please remember that there's nothing magical about variable names. Variable names can be anything. It's just that we, we name them carefully and appropriately so that when we read the code later, we understand what we're talking about. Because if I call this var um, spooky equals keyboard check vk up minus keyboard check vk down, that is perfectly legitimate and will work if I change all the other move verticals to spooky. Uh, but means absolutely nothing to you or I. The computer does not care what you name your variables. It thinks in zeros and ones. So eventually this will be converted to zeros and ones. It does not care. We name variables for us, not the computer. All right, so we'll call it move vertical. So we have that keyboard check in. Then we have our jump check, our X speed check, which we've already got. So now we come to the ladder code. So this first bit is saying, if this is true, then add gravity to Y speed. Now, for this to be true, is on ladder will have to be false. So we're not on the ladder because this exclamation mark changes, uh, flips the Boolean value. So if it's on ladder's false, it will flip it to true. And if it's true, it'll flip it to false. So if we're not on the ladder, this will flip this value to true. And this will say, if this is true, do this. So it will only add gravity to Y speed if we are not on the ladder, which means that we can happily go on the ladder uh, let me run it up again. That isn't that is false here. Now it isn't that is true. Therefore, that code will flip the value to false and we won't add gravity to y speed. Okay. But as soon as we're off it, we will add gravity to y speed. So that's that that bit. Now the next bit decides to set is on ladder to true when we're on the ladder, and set is on ladder to false when we're not on the ladder. So the code which says are we on the ladder is this: if place meeting x y object ladder, which place meeting just checks whether this object, the player has collided with the ladder at its x, y coordinates. So if it's collided with the ladder or it's touching the ladder, then is on ladder is true. Otherwise, is on ladder is false. And that's that bit. Now, we then check if we are on the ladder, we always want to set y speed to zero, just to make sure that we don't add any y speed. Okay. Um, because we want to control y speed. Uh, actually, thinking about it, we may not even need this. So I might, might, just, might just take it out because we're setting y speed here anyway. So if we do this and we start again, oh, we may find we do need it because find that in a sec. Yeah, we do. Otherwise, <laughs> it does that. I'm just pressing the key once. So we need to set it to zero. First of all, then if and only if we are pressing the move vertical key, then we move y speed and again we could make this code better um, we could make this code better see if you can guess how we can just say if 
the vertical is not zero, now it's either going to be one minus one or zero, then y speed equals y speed multiplied by So then I can comment these out like that and see if this works. No, actually, no, that's not going to work because it's two or minus two, so we need a variable. Oh, no, it does, it will work. So y speed equals move vertical, which will be, give us the minus one of one times two. That's it. You might have worked that out way quicker than me. So that will work. Let's just test it and we'll look at the last bit. Yeah, that does work. Except I've got my, I've got my, <laughs> I've got my up and down roll. So, um, it looks like I need to multiply by minus two. Let's try again. Yep, and that works perfectly. Alright, so the last bit of code. So let's get rid of this. Cleans it up a bit. The last bit of code. So the, the next bit is just the jumping, which you've already got. And the last bit of code is just checking collisions for X as well as Y. So you've got this bit where we check collisions with in the y direction with the floor or the ceiling but we also need to check collisions uh, side on the sides as well so if we didn't have and, and that's basically the same exactly the same code but switching x for y essentially if we didn't have this let me comment it out and show you what would happen Okay, so if we didn't have this, that means that we're not checking whether we collide into the wall on the sides. So we could do this, which doesn't really bode well. Does <laughs> but if you had um, secret passages, some, some of the things you could actually do this on, maybe. So we need to put that back in, like that, and that will check for prisons either side of us. So you just need to put that in, and you also need to put in the setting of the Y coordinate to Y speed. So again, all we've done in this whole method, this step event, is we've done step one, which is a keyboard check. Check your keyboard input, that's this here. Then we've done set x speed and y speed, which is effectively all of this. Setting the x speed value and the y speed value. Then at the end, we add the x speed value and the y speed value to x and y. And that moves the player uh, by that number of pixels for that frame. And then we do it all over again in the next frame. And that is ladder movement.